Hello everyone. This is Judy coming to you from my scrapbook loft. And I'm here with a, uh, hopefully, a short tutorial. I don't never seem to be able to do anything shortly in a short manner. So, um, Tiffany, the domestic fox, had asked me to do a tutorial on a set of boxes that I had posted on Instagram. And, um, and Tiffany, you all have seen me make a box a hundred times. So, um, I, I didn't go through the process of making the box because, like I said, you've seen it, seen me do it a, a hundred times. So, I've already made the box, but what I want to do is uh, just finish it up for you and then show you how I make the um, box to slide this drawer. This is going to be a drawer, okay? And, um, I do things backwards, probably. I've, I've heard that, um, my thing, my, uh, tutorials are a little, um, complicated. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I try to make them, to not make them complicated. Um, but... I can remember back when I was learning how to do this and it seemed complicated to me too until I just jumped in there and uh, started making them. And like I said um, in a comment, I've thrown a lot of stuff away. I've trashed it or I've took it apart or I have kept it and um, then um, did something else with it so that um, it didn't go to waste. Um, the, uh, I can't remember who I watched make these. Um, I've, I learned it from YouTube too, and I can't remember who I watched, but they made the box that the drawer slid into first, and then they made the drawer. Well, I did that and um, I had a little bit of a problem. So what I do is I work around that problem that makes it easier for me. And what has made it easier for me is to make the drawer first and then to make the outside box. So that's what I've done. Now what I've done, like I said, I've put my drawer together. I'm getting ready to put my knob on my handle to open it with so I decided I wanted this to be by front so I'm going to uh, let me see if I can get you up here where you can see what I'm doing hopefully you can see what I'm doing I always find the center of it first of the box and it's four and five eighths. And then I find, I'm just gonna eyeball um, where I wanna put it then in the center from there. And I just make me a little bitty dot, make sure I got it lined up, four and five eighths. And I just make me a little bitty dot where the center is, just a little dot. Not much. Can you see it? Just a little dot. And then I line my handle up. See this handle has these three marks right here. Can you see that? And so I line that center. I line the center one up with my um, center that I got there. Just eyeball it. Then I'm going to eyeball where the center of the box is. And if you want to, which I do, just a little bit. As long as they're the same, it's all right that they don't put it 
right there. Five eighths of an inch. And then I take my pencil and I just You see that right there? That threw me. I don't know if I can get that off of there or not. That's a piece of the metal off, off the handle. Yeah, there we go. I got it. Put it over here where I won't get it on something. Okay. Now here we go again. That little piece of metal threw me. Here we go. Get my ruler back. Make sure I'm the same. Both sides of the hand. Now I'm going to make my marks in my thing there. And I use the piercer. For this I don't want a big hole not a big one and then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to erase that pencil mark in the center there we go I'm going to get my brads and these are Tim Holtz long brads And I get my E6000 because I just want a little dab, little dab of do ya. And I'm going to put this in here. There's that one. Come on, fingers. Pick them up. Come on. Get in there. What is your problem? Why is it when you try to do a tutorial, everything goes backwards? There we go. Always pays to have tools around you all. Let me close these up before I dump them out. Now I'm going to just... Fold them over, those brads. Well, you all, I see what happened. This brad didn't want to come through. It folded up, but we got it here. There we go. There we go. And then, you all, I take a hammer, and I hammer them down, just like so. And then, the way I'm going to do the inside of this box, I make, I reinforce the sides, and I have... I'm making the, to make it stout enough to pull in and out. So, i got to put some more tape on this. Let 
Now this one's the only one I'm going to put so much tape on. Because of the handle and the brads. And I'm just going to this way. Now I'm going to do this. space that didn't have tape on it. Okay. Now I always cut this tape off that hangs over the edge because I don't like to fold it back. It makes it too, uh, it might make a hump and it won't close or something like that. You don't want to change the dimension of anything, and even a little piece of tape can change the dimension of something. And then, you all, on top of that, we put glue on these brads. this to go in there. Oh, yes. Center it up. There we go. Press it down. It's hard to press with that handle, so you gotta... And then I'll do that all the way around. I'll do that, to reinforce that, and then put some paper in the bottom, okay? But that's what I'm going to do with that, and I just wanted to show you how I put the handle on. And then I've got to put the bottom on there. So we're going to put all of this over here. And then I'm going to show you how I make the box for the drawer to slide into. This will probably be uh, two or three videos. Let me get this piece of metal off of here. Ends up in something. Okay. My drawer, I forgot to tell you. My drawer is nine and a half by eight. So I've made the outside box that the drawers want to slide into eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter. And I've made it is one and seven eighths inches deep. Okay. So I've made this one two. So these need to be two, not not two and one eight. They need to be two. Okay, so I need to recut these to two. Hold on. Oh, always pays to remeasure, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I tried to do a live and do this tonight, you all, but. reason streamlined just wasn't working tonight. I could not no matter what I did to get it to work. So I have no idea. And you know it used to work just fine. It worked fine until it quit working the same time I quit getting all of my notifications from everybody. Same time I quit getting my notifications. The 
the stream lab quit working so I don't know I don't know if it's my stuff or if it's uh, YouTube I have no idea no idea whatsoever so there we go all right so now these are two and They are two. Okay, there we go. All right. So set those over there. Set the drawer over there. And set, these are the side panels for the box, for the drawer. Put those right there for right now. And now we're going to, we're gonna put these together. These need to be put together. So, and it already has a line there, so I don't have to do anything to that. <laughs> I do not have to measure that today. I'm just going to do one quarter. And it takes two of them because, and yeah, I'm doing this different than I do my uh, lids and my books because this is not going to be worked up and down, so it doesn't need any tie back or anything on it. So there we go. Turn it over. Let me double check this because I want this to come out on that like so. I want to get those words. Let's make sure that's an inch. Do, 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 do. I want to get the wording. Side, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I wanted it on the right side, but it's not on the right side of the paper, so it's not going to be on the right side of the lid, is it? No, duh. Okay, so now we're going to do our one inch over here because we want to keep everything even, Steven. Yep. Steven. And this, because there's not going to be any pulling or tugging on it, it doesn't need a whole lot of tape either. But I will stick some glue in there. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. Gone. I've got a new bunch. 
bunch of them in today. Did you all watch Trina's uh, craft room tour today? Whoa, it girl is uh, got a nice craft room. Nice craft room. been buying shelves and things from a place that's going out of business. Lucky girl, I tell ya. Lucky girl. Find stuff like that. That is awesome. And then, here it is. Do, 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 do. Make sure I got that right. pieces before we go to lay it down. Burnish it. I wish I could remember who I watched. Um, do this it might would be not so complicated if someone else showed you how to do it over here. Line it up on that line. And now for this one. This is going to come together almost like a book. But it's not a book. It's a drawer holder. <laughs> You just want enough glue to just tack it down, doesn't it? Because you got the score tape on there. That score tape's going to hold it. Like I said, there's no working mechanism, so it doesn't need to be anything. Um, spectacular on it. Guestimates, guestimates, guestimates. Take 
Perfect. I can use that. Yes, I can. Now, you all, I don't even have to use my little corner thing for this one because it always turns out pretty good just doing it without them. But now, if I was making my book, I don't think I would be using my corner thing. My corner finger. If I was used making a book. If you've made an embellishment book or one of those bookcase books, do this live with you all today, but oh well. And I'm just going to finish putting this on and then I'll have to do a part two. Yes, I will. And I always do the sides because when the drawer slides in, you don't want it to catch on the sides as it goes in to uh, the drawer, if you know what I mean. I'm sure you what I mean in just a minute. Right here on these edges. Right here, this is where the drawer is going to be sliding in and out. So you don't want this part here on this side because, see, your drawer would catch that corner. So you want it like that. So that's how I do it. This has not been complicated. Um, if you need me to make the box part, the drawer part, in a tutorial, um, I can. Um, it's just like my other box. It's just like a box. You just don't put the top on it is all. And I'll do another tutorial of... Um, some smaller drawers that um, I learned to do from I don't know who so many years ago. Like I said, I've done this for so many years. I can't remember who I watch and learn from. I have no idea. Because I've watched so many. I tell you, my favorite one used to be she was Xanner01. Anna was her name. And she just disappeared off of YouTube. I don't know what happened to her. She was um, in a foreign country. And I loved to watch her. That woman could build. Uh, if you all could 
find her channel and watch some old videos. I don't know. But they should still be up. And then we just fold it in like so. And then we're going to do this end. Now this one, I still don't take the tape to the end because I don't want it to show just in case I use glue there. Xanner01, I loved watching her. Lord, she built this castle out of paper. Oh my gosh. Could that woman build? It was awesome. I wouldn't even attempt that castle. <laughs> yep. All right, now I'm going to bring this up here. Fold this over. I got most of the teacups on that end. You see what I mean about when the drawer slides in and out? Now it's not going to be catching on the corners of this one. just have to cover one side some of some people cover all of it but you don't need to because it can't be seen it's, it's like the inside of a chest of drawers I just do the bottom because just in case they pull the drawer out you can you'll see um, you won't see that do, 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 do. so it just needs to be seven and three quarters by nine and a quarter. And this does not need a whole lot of tape either. edges down
get it lined up, we're going to put it on that, pretty much on that line right there where it comes together. Right there. Y'all been watching um, Sharon do her painting, <laughs> Connection of Lives and Interest 2020. I had someone else. Sally Hendrix has started a YouTube channel. Then, well, she started doing videos. And the name of her channel is The Crafty Hedgehog. And uh, she's just getting started. So if you're not subbed to her, please go over and sub to her. Show her some of that crafty, crafty love. And I miss some tape, you all. Right here. It didn't come off. There we go. She's just getting started, you all, and she just needs needs some help. We all need to just do a little shout out before and help her grow her channel. Now, let me show you. There it is. We're going to put the next video, we'll put the sides on, like so. That'll be the sides. Let me get them on there. When we get it all on there, put together, that'll be the next video. <laughs> Can't hold them in there. That's how it's going to go. So we will do part two tomorrow. I want to thank you all for watching. Hugs to you from me and God bless. The start of it. Love you all. Good night.